it's me, Maikin, and this time, pag-usapan natin kung paano isolve yung area ng squares and rectangles. But before that, make sure na marunong ka ng mag-multiply ng whole numbers and decimals. Kung hindi pa, check the description box below. Meron akong ilalagay na link doon. By the way, ang mag-subscribe ay bibigyan ni Mommy ng Jollibee. At ang mag-skip ng ads ay magkakakuto sa ulo. <laughs> Ready ka na? Tara, perfectin natin yung quiz mo. Ang square ay mayroong 4 equal sides. Ibig sabihin, kung 5 cm ang side na ito, 5 cm din yung ibang sides. At kung 12 inches naman ito, 12 inches din yung ibang sides. Ang rectangle naman ay mayroong 2 opposite equal sides na tinatawag na length and width. So kung ang length ay 10 feet, yung kabilang length ay 10 feet din. At kung ang width naman ay 6 feet, yung kabilang width ay 6 feet din. Tingnan naman natin kung paano isolve ang area ng square at rectangle. Para sa square, A equals S squared. At sa rectangle naman, A equals LW. Try natin. Find the area of the square whose side is 7 cm. Dahil square ito, ang gagamitin nating formula ay A equals S squared. Ibig sabihin nito, area equals side times side. So, bring down natin yung A at yung side natin ay 7 cm. So, sulat natin dito, 7 times 7. Bring down natin yung A at we will get 49. Huwag din kakalimutan i-include yung unit of measurement. Since centimeters ito, centimeters times centimeters ay square centimeters. Therefore, our area is 49 square centimeters. Ngayon naman, tingnan natin itong rectangle na merong measurements na 9 and 4 inches. Since rectangle ito, ang gagamitin nating formula ay A equals LW o area equals length times width. So, bring down natin yung A at yung length natin ay 9. Yung width naman natin ay 4. So, times 4. Take note, because of commutative property of multiplication, pwede itong mag-interchange. So, walang kaso kung 4 ang nilagay mo as length at 9 naman ang width. Multiply natin. A equals 36. Then, don't forget the unit of measurement. Since inches ang given, square inches ang unit of measurement ng area. So, our answer is 36 square inches. This time, let us find the area of this shape. Hmm, paano yung solve yan? Eh, hindi naman yan square, hindi rin rectangle. Sure ka ba? Tingnan mabuti. Tama, isa rin yang square. So, ang gagamitin nating formula ay A equals S squared or area equals side times side. So, bring down natin yung A at yung S natin ay 34. So, 34 times 34. Multiplying that, we will get 1,156. Pero teka, wala rin siyang unit of measurement. Paano yun? In that case, ang isusulat lang natin ay square units o SQ units in short. So, our area is 1,156 square units. Isa pa, ngayon naman itong rectangle na to ay merong decimal measurements. Ganon pa rin, ang gagamitin pa rin nating formula ay A equals LW or area equals length times width. So, bring down natin yung A at yung length natin ay 18.6. Ang atin namang width ay 6.2. Again, okay lang kahit magpalit sila dahil sa commutative property of multiplication. So, pag minultiply natin yan, ang answer ay 115.32. Tapos, huwag kakalimutan, dahil feet yang given, dapat sulat din natin na square feet. So, our area is 115 and 3200 square feet. Panis, ba? Level up tayo. This time, given na yung area at ang hinahanap naman ay side. Hmm. Dahil square pa rin naman yan, ang formula pa rin ay A equals S squared. 
Pero hindi na natin ibibring down yung A dahil given na ang value nito na 25. And remember, yung S squared ay same lang ng side times side. So let us now bring down 25 and leave a blank for S. Then, multiplication sign. Tapos isipin mo, anong numbers ba yung pag minultiply ay magiging 25? Mm -hmm. Pwede yung 1 at 25. Pero, since S times S, dapat parehong numbers lang yan. Tama, 5 at 5. Therefore, our side is 5. At ang unit of measurement natin ay meters. Therefore, our side is 5 meters. What if naman rectangle? So, given na yung area natin at width, at ang hinahanap ay length. Again, start tayo sa formula na A equals LW. Yung value ng A ay given na. So, ang susulat natin dito, 21 equals length times width. So, bring down natin yung 21. Yung length natin, dahil unknown siya, let us leave it blank. Tapos times W na 3 inches. So, again, isipin natin, anong number ba yung pag multiply sa 3 ay magiging 21? Yes, 7. Therefore, our length is 7. At ang unit of measurement ay inches. So, our length is 7 inches. Try it! Find the area of this square. Pwede mong i-pause yung video, tapos, pagka may sagot ka na, play mo ulit para i-check kung tama ka. Ready? Again, we will start with our formula A equals S squared o area equals side times side. So, bring down A at ang side natin ay 15. So, 15 times 15. By multiplying, we will get 225. At ang unit of measurement natin ay square kilometers. Therefore, our area is 225 square kilometers. Nakuha mo ba? Kung oo, edi yay! This time, find the area of the rectangle. Again, pause the video first. Check natin kung tama ka. Ang formula natin ay A equals LW or area equals length times width. So, bring down A at ang length ay 24. Ang width naman ay 19.7. Again, walang problema kung magkabaliktad man yan. Pag minultiply natin, ang kakalabasan ay 472.8. Tapos, ang unit of measurement natin ay square yards. Therefore, our final answer is 472 and 8 tenths square yards. Nakuha mo ba? If yes, ikaw ay certified na matindi. Sana marami ka natutunan sa video natin today. Till next time, bye!